What's up gamers, Long Long Man here, Long Long Cosplay. The PGL Antwerp CSGO Major is in full swing. I just watched FaZe Clan beat NIP. Very hyped for what's to come. I thought it'd be a fun idea to show you how I did my Counter-Strike cosplay. I will be there on Sunday in Antwerp at the finals and I will be wearing it. So I thought it'd be a good video to, a uh, bit of a tutorial, show you how I put this thing together. I'll put a picture here on the on the side, picture taken by Colin. Go follow him on Instagram. And let's just go from the bottom to the top and go through everything and see how I made it. So, first thing you start with, the shoes. I think in this cosplay, not very important. I just went with some regular, like clean black and white Puma sneakers that I just wear regularly. You could go with military boots, that would be another step up. But I don't think that's very necessary. I think uh, that's often a part, especially when you take like, selfies or picture with people that uh, that falls away, that people forget about. So as long as you don't do anything too outrageous, I think pretty much every shoe is fine. Every normal shoe. Next up, we just have the jeans. Just a pair of blue jeans. Everyone has one of these laying around. At least you should. I do recommend wearing a belt. I think having a belt breaks up the color a little bit, adds something else, adds a bit of detail. You could make an extra belt buckle, make it, make it something Counter-Strike themed, but I haven't done that for this one. This is where the cosplay really starts becoming something. Bought a long sleeved base t-shirt from Amazon from a brand called Branded. Bought it in XL, probably could have done L. But uh, I think this is a bit baggy, it's also, also fine. I'll put all the Amazon links if I can find them uh, in the description below. So you can see what I bought and uh, maybe buy one of them as well. If you, uh, if you need some suggestions, if you need some, uh, some inspiration for your own Counter-Strike cosplay. There we go, shirt is on, already getting more into the color scheme of a Dust2 terrorist. Next up, this is where I think the cosplay becomes recognizable, at least for Counter-Strike players. A tactical scarf, a shemag, also bought this on Amazon from a brand called Free Soldier, I believe. And I think once you put this thing on, together with the, uh, with the shirt, with the pants, I think you can already clearly be a Counter-Strike character. I think this scarf is uh, is really nice and really about, uh, about a good one, I think. And uh, I think it really completes the outfit. I think that's the this is this is the most important part for me. This and the shirt are the two main parts that make this a good Counter-Strike cosplay. At least that's what uh, that's what I believe. Now that the, the main parts are done. It's time to accessorize, to add details and make it pop out, make it spectacular. First thing, shoulder holsters. Putting in all your props. You can, uh, really make it military themed. Bit annoying to carry around all day. Also bought this from Amazon. I don't think this one is super necessary, but it definitely does add to the cosplay. And now that I have a shoulder holster, I can add my props. I made these with foam. You can check them out on my Instagram, long, long cosplay. How I made them, I made a Glock Bunsen burner. This one looks decent at a distance, but the details are a bit rough, but I still think it looks cool. Had it with me at Dutch Comic Con, that's where I wore this cosplay for the first time. I am really happy though with this knife, the, the terrorist basic knife. I think it's really cool shape, really iconic shape with, uh, with the handle, with the blade like this, with the, the gap out of it. So I think this one came out really well. I won't be bringing these to the Major on Sunday because security probably doesn't appreciate me bringing knives and guns to an event like that. I think it's fine at a cosplay convention when they have a prop check. But at an event like this, it's probably best to, uh, to avoid bringing anything problematic. 
Another holster I have is a leg holster from PUBG. I bought this for my PUBG cosplay, which was the first real cosplay I did in like 2018. This one can go on your leg, on your hip, and it's just a nice little, little carry pouch. And I think that also adds a bit more detail and uh, makes it a bit more exciting than just blue jeans. I bought this from AliExpress in, you know, four or five years ago, I think four years ago. So it's, it might be tough finding it, probably don't have a link for that, but uh, just find something extra to put on your legs, make it a bit more fun, make it a bit more, uh, a bit more extra. Well, we're putting that on right now. And uh, let's see, what else do we got for details? I bought some cheap fingerless gloves. In game, I think they were like like uh, biker gloves with uh, with the Kevlar knuckles. But I don't ride the uh, ride a motorbike, so I didn't really care about getting those. Just bought something that looks a little bit more extra in pictures. It's something to break up the monotony of you know brown shirt, skin, and then bare hands. It's just uh, adding details, adding things like this just makes it pop more. Another detail to add to the outfit, a red piece of fabric, character have that wrapped around their arms sometimes. And I think that also adds to the cosplay quite a bit, just breaks up the monotony of the shirt, makes it a bit more exciting, makes it pop a bit more, adds some colors, make it more fun. And then the final thing to finish it off, a nice pair of sunglasses. Some round aviator type sunglasses, makes it look cool. Not sure if I'll be wearing these inside, but I do think they uh, they look nice, finish off the look, makes you look badass without trying. You won't have to worry about your, your eyes and what blinking when taking pictures. So that's always uh, always a bit <laughs> a bit of a plus when you're an inexperienced uh, poser or just bad with selfies. Just uh, don't worry about any of that. So there you have it, my Counter-Strike cosplay. Basically complete. I probably won't bring the shoulder harness and uh, the props to Antwerp, but the rest you can see me walking around, probably taking selfies with hopefully enthusiastic Counter Strike fans. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how I put together my Counter Strike cosplay. I hope you enjoyed. I've been doing the, the pickums on the gaming channel, still going for the diamond coin. I'm just gonna be enjoying the playoffs and. Uh, I'll see you guys Sunday at the finals in Antwerp. I'm out.